In lecture 13, we begin to think about molecular shape, which is governed by a theory called valence shell electron pair repulsion model. Thus far, what's been presented about molecular compounds is that they are covalently bonded and their attachment of atoms can be represented by Lewis structures. But we need to get from a two-dimensional representation on paper to three-dimensional shapes. The theory for this is known as VESPER, or Valence Shell Electron Pair Repulsion Model. Atoms that obey the octet rule can have only two, three, or four electron regions. This would be when they are a central atom in a compound. The electron regions around the atoms are negative, which means they are like charges. Like charges repel each other and try to get as far away from each other as they can while still being tethered to the nucleus. Here is a Lewis structure of ammonia that a student might draw on paper, and it's a good Lewis structure, but it has three-dimensional shapes. One could use wedges and dashes to indicate the three-dimensional shape. Another way to represent the shape is with this ball and stick model, which shows the relative sizes of the atomic radii. Another one is a space filling model, which shows the electron clouds around the atom. So in order to apply VESPER, first, students need to be able to count electron groups or regions. A lone pair attached to an atom is one electron region. As you might imagine, a single bond attached to an atom is one electron region. A double bond attached to an atom is still one electron region, and a triple bond attached to an atom is still one electron region. So here is a question for you. How many electron regions are around the lettered atoms? In order to do this, one needs to focus in on just that particular atom. And what I see when I look at this sulfur is one, two, three, four electron regions. So please do the same for the nitrogen and the sulfur. Here is a similar question. How many electron regions are around the lettered atoms? So once again, focus your eye just around the phosphorus and count one, two, three, four. Now for those of you who are going to organic chemistry, your instructor may not have enough time to add the electron regions around all the atoms. So this question asks how many electron regions are around the lettered atoms, but has the hint to make sure you octet. So I'll help you with the first one. Nitrogen has three bonds. That means it needs one lone pair. So focus in on that nitrogen and name the things attached to it. Double bond, lone pair, single bond. The number of electron regions is the number of items one names. 